I'm gonna crochet something today, I just don't know what. So I'm going to let Pinterest decide because I don't want to have to plan. It's been a while, I've been kind of out of the K-pop loop. If anyone has like suggestions, let me know. Basically, whatever pops up first on Pinterest, I'm gonna crochet it no matter what. Let's see, what's the first crochet item? I literally just made something like that. Okay, just a second. Ooh, what's this? First thought was Subin. That's so cute. Aw, okay, you know what? I'm making this. Is this a pattern? Oh, I recognize this person. It is a pattern. Aw, you can pay whatever you want, I think. There's so many different ways people have made this, and I really don't like following a pattern. So I think what I'll do is I'll just look up, I don't know, my own little thing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so tired. Okay, I have gathered my yarns. Ah. Three of which are from one of you guys. <laughs> Thank you again. This has gone from crocheting anything to crocheting a Subin cardigan and I'm loving it. I don't like blue, so I don't know why I'm doing this, but the Subin just feels like blue to me. And I'm upset. I don't have the same colors. I literally want to just copy this because I want that cardigan so cute looking, but I don't have the right colors. This blue is very deep and dark and colorful. They're actually both pretty vibrant. I really want to use this though. These these are to weight four. This is weight three, but I feel like it's not a huge difference, maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a pink. I'm just thinking I kind of want to use this for something else, but maybe not. Uh, I don't know. I was like, maybe I'll do it in pink, but this is the only, like, this is all I have left of this color. And then the other ones are just like these, like, bright neon y color. Oh, well, that's not that bright. <laughs> I don't know. The whole reason I did this was so that I wouldn't have to make decisions today because I don't feel like making decisions. But here we are. Here we are. I mean, I think this would be the smartest decision because I don't have enough of the blue like this. Like I'm, I'm somehow thinking that this is gonna make an entire card again. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I just wanna sleep. Why am I so tired? I, I haven't been doing anything. Um, um, um. Oh, I wish, I wish this was like live and I could be like, tell me what to do, please. Maybe I'll do pink because I have a lot of pink. And if I run out of pink, then I have like peachy and like different colors of pink. <sighs> We are going with what we have. Oh, but I was excited about using the other year. I'll use it for something else, it's fine. So all of the squares that have little pictures on them, they're all going to be related to Subin. So we've got a bunny and I've got to look up a, this, that's what this is, right? Like it's just, oh, but are they in double crochet? I have no idea how they look so nice. I could find out if I buy the pattern. The pattern will be linked below. It's not pay what you want, it's pay $10 or more. And I don't know if that's USD or whatever, but again, I wouldn't even read it, so hey, let's go. Rabbit pixel grid. So we've got some rabbits. <laughs> freaking know what to do. Rah. Okay, so this is the simplest yet still cutest bunny that I can find. I couldn't find who made it. Credit to you. I think it's gonna be too big, but I'll try and see. We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna use my 5.5 millimeter hook because it's becoming my favorite. So smooth. Okay, so it is going to be too big, <laughs> very large, but I don't wanna use a smaller hook because that'll make it more stiff and that's not what I want. This is obviously made with like a thinner yarn, but <laughs> This is a weight four, like a thicker weight four. So ha ha ha. I think I'm just gonna go with this. And if it ends up an extra large, it ends up an extra large. It's supposed to be a, a like a one day, one afternoon project type of thing that I was planning on doing. It's not gonna happen. It's been a while since I've done tapestry crochet. Fun times. Not really. It's been a nice break, actually. Hello. Uh, here we go. Okay, wow, I did that all in one sitting. And I haven't looked at it yet, so hopefully it looks nice. But I think this is the first time I've never made a mistake doing a tapestry. And I know that it's just small, but like usually I make mistakes. And I wasn't even like counting or double checking or anything too much. My focus was primarily on speed. I haven't looked at this. I never checked to see if it was going well at all. So hopefully. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that is adorable! Wow! Wow! That's so cute! Holy goodness! 
I love it. I'm not gonna lie that a bajillion times while do like while doing this I was thinking you know what I'll just make one more square make a mini dough bag and call it a day <laughs> But I don't know this is giving me motivation I don't know how long that took me to do I should have timed it cuz like wow like I didn't even move like I was sitting here this entire time My leg is actually kind of cramped. I should have moved a little bit <laughs> a little bit at least Oh but this makes me so happy. My only other idea so far is for an ice cream, like ice cream cone because of the song Ice Cream. Well, Suman likes sweet things anyway, but like he has writing credits for ice cream and honestly, yeah, that song just, yeah, that's Subin. And just to reiterate, yes, I said Subin is blue, but I'm using pink because I feel like pink is the next color for Subin because Subin is like soft and lovely and he looks super good in pink. Exhibits high picnic. And plus I have more pink than blue. I have, actually I have a lot of blue, but I have a lot of random colors in blue. There's not, there's not consistency. And I want to do the checkers like the original uh, was. <laughs> This is gonna be big. I could do like a freaking blanket as well in this. It'd be super cute. Anything, anything would be super cute. Ah, I really love this. <laughs> it is huge. It might be like an oversized extra large. I don't know. We'll see. It's gonna be so cute. Uh, ah. I don't even care if it takes extra time. Like it'll be worth it, I think. I don't know. We'll see when I start. Like, this is my first square, and I was done. <laughs> Until I seen what it looked like, I was done. So we'll see. I'm gonna do some of the regular squares now, just to, you know, get the ball rolling, get going some faster, make me uh, have a reason not to just turn it into a toe pick. <sighs> And it'll just be the granny squares, but not with the granny stitch. It's just like the regular double crochet squares. And hopefully I can make it the same size as this. Ah, I just love this so much. Yesterday I finished six squares. The first which we have all seen and been amazed by. <laughs> And then I made three just plain solid granny squares. I'll link the tutorial that I used because I really liked it. Like the way they did the corners that you like join in made it a lot neater than what I've done for all my granny squares thus far. So I have two of the big, <laughs> they look like different sizes, but they are the same. And I use the same hook and I use, I'm gonna have to like stretch this because it's just slightly smaller than this year. Or maybe they're the same now because I was like, <laughs> trying to stretch them. They do look kind of wonky like they're too like I increased too much or something But I didn't I even went as far as to count to make sure that I did not increase too much But perfection and then lastly I made this square now hear me out <laughs> in keeping with the Subin theme <laughs> Did I just do this because I thought it would look good? No, I did this is checkers checkers vans vans skater skater loser lover this is representing loser lover era and i thought the checks would look nice so now i just have to find an ice cream grid because i don't want to make one i feel like it'd be super easy to make but i don't want to do anything but first look at this do you see do you see the vision do you see the beauty it's so amazing and i think i want to make it into a blanket not a cardigan but i think what i'll do because i can't really decide blankets are like my next favorite thing to make next to clothing and they're less work when putting things together so I don't know <laughs> I was gonna measure out everything and then see how many squares I would need for a cardigan and how many squares I would need for a blanket and then I'll let that make the decision if it's more for the cardigan I'll go with the blanket if it's more for the blanket or equal I'll probably go for the blanket because <laughs> or I don't know I don't know I'm leaning towards the blanket just because it's easier to assemble and I don't like assembling things but like honestly I think I will run out of yarn anyway, so maybe it'll be like a little mini blanket and that's it because honestly, I think you just This is too long for the sleeve. So I feel like the sleeve will be four four That's eight and then the front will be this which is six 12 20 32 i think it'll be 32 squares i don't have enough yarn for that i think i'm making a blanket on like a smaller size blanket or i can make a large size pillow cushion thing that'd be cute but then i don't have like i feel like i would need to sew like a little casing for the or maybe i think this is too small but i could take this cover off and then use this oh no maybe it's the perfect size Wait a second. 
I've never made a cushion cover before or a pillow or anything, so this is super exciting. Plus, I got super excited because I was like, I have a zipper from a project that I didn't use it for. It's way too big, but the thought was there. I'll probably just use like a button, a buttony system. This wouldn't have looked that great with it anyway, because it's beige. And it's also even more exciting because that means I'm almost done. I literally just have two more squares to make, but at the same time, I feel like this is a wasted square that I should have put something in this because I'm doing one more will be ice cream and then I need another blank one of these. But this one could have been something. I need to brainstorm though. What is Subin? Subin, Subin, <gasps> a gummy bear because that's his most famous photo card. Okay, what else? What else? What else? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I wish this was like somehow live, but not at the same time. I want to be able to ask you guys, what are some Subin things? I probably have a list somewhere because I was gonna make like a member themed, but I think I was gonna make him a cardigan, like a playing cardigan. I was gonna, a dolphin! A dolphin! How's the dance go? I don't remember. <laughs> That renders this one useless. I will scrap it. Um, but honestly, the three square, like it's not gonna take long anyway, so I'm not upset about it. This is gonna take way less time than a blanket or a cardigan. And I think I'm gonna love it even more because like, I might keep it. <laughs> I don't keep hardly anything, but I might keep it. <sighs> Oh uh, yeah. Okay, I did one more of the regular squares and now I need to find the ice cream and the dolphin. Whichever is easier slash whichever one has because I need 30 by 30. Ice cream! You scream! Yeah. Where are the freak? What am I looking up? Okay, grid pattern. Oh, I feel like it'll be perfect, but I only need the one color. Will this be obvious if it's just one? I don't think so. It'll just look like a like it won't look. No. Ah, this is hard. Ice cream. Ugh. Okay, I'll look up dolphin then and see if dolphin's easier. Dolphin grid pattern. Da, 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 da. Ooh, maybe. Let me just count this real quick. I'm having the same issue with this because this is like 25 by 25 or something, which is perfect. It will work. But then it's not just two-toned, which means I would have to... I don't even know. Like, I would make the eye the lighter color and then... Ah! Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know if it would look good if I just didn't... Like, it would have to be how the bunny was. Like, I would have to make all the little uh, things in there. And I didn't want to have to edit it at all. Ah! Upsetness. But I think all I'd have to do is put in the lighter color around ah, this fin here. I don't know. I'm going to have to edit it a little bit. Plus, I would like this fin to be a little more triangular. Freak. I don't know. I'll use this as a base and hopefully... <laughs> I've never free-handed a grip pattern before. So maybe today's the day. Only it's it's very slightly free-handing. <laughs> Only. So should be fine. Let's go with this. <sighs> I should have started with the ice cream though, because the ice cream will be easier. Maybe I'll do the ice cream first. <laughs> ah! Okay, I think I'll use this one because it has the black in it and I can just do the black as... What? No, I can't. Oh, I don't freaking know. Never mind. Wait, what was I thinking? I don't remember. Um... Ah! <laughs> I was gonna say I can use the black as the lighter color. Yes, can I? I don't freaking know. Again, I'm just gonna wing it, see what happens. <laughs> okay, so I'm redoing it and making my own dolphin and ice cream because this is... Uh, I mean, it's okay. Oh, it looks better on screen, but it accidentally decreased here. I have to go back anyway. Wait, can you tell that's ice cream? I was gonna say, you cannot tell it's ice cream if you don't know that it's ice cream. But looking on the screen, I can tell that it's ice cream. That rhymed, <laughs> sort of. Well, now I don't know. <sighs> okay, I'll leave it for a bit and then see. I was gonna say I'll just make one with one scoop. But anyway, I'll go make the dolphin thing because that was hard to do anyway. The mental gymnastics I had to do in order to like change the colors but have some of the colors to the same. I just could not, so. Okay, so I showed my mom the ice cream and she said, or I was like, what does this look like? And she said, ice cream, and that it was obvious. So I'm going to just <laughs> go with this. Oh, but I forgot that I de decreased accidentally on one side. So I'll have to go back. Uh, <laughs> Other than that, it's almost done. I'll finish this. And then I also went on to Stitch Fiddle and did my little turbo daughter eater cut. I don't know what any of those words mean or if I pronounce them properly, but um, the dolphin. I think it's cute. It's basically the picture that I showed earlier earlier with a few adjustments. 
Yeah. <laughs> so I finished all my pieces and now I'm gonna put it together. Yes, I got a haircut. No, I don't like it. Tis not the vibe I was going for, but we're moving on. I was, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, should I freaking, should I, should I? <laughs> I've, uh, cause I either can sew these together like normal or I can crochet them together and have the like a little bit of a border around these. And I think I would like the border in the darker pink, but I don't know. I guess it couldn't hurt. I'm gonna try the border and then see. So I'll just crochet up this side and then up this side. And I'm putting the, the ice cream and the dolphin on one side of the cushion and then the checks and the bunny on the other side because that's gonna be my favorite side because I love both of them so much. And these ones are, eh, these are mid. It looks so much like ice cream when I see it on the viewfinder, but when I look at it in real life, I'm like, eh, what is this blob? <sighs> about the dolphin? Did I show you the dolphin properly? <laughs> looks more like a beluga. Is a beluga a dolphin? A beluga whale? Are dolphins whales? <laughs> They're both water mammals. I stretch it like this. It's fine. Alrighty, so I'll crochet it then and then we'll see what that looks like. BRB. Okay, I think I like it like this with the single crochet it together, having it on this side. So it's like a border. So I'm gonna continue that. ta -da! So freaking beautiful! These are quite a bit smaller though. I stretched them out and whenever I stretch them out, it looks fine and it stays like that for a while. So that's nice. Um, but it's very holy, so I'm worried that it won't look as nice. Whenever it has like the white cushion behind it, maybe I will dye the <laughs> this color of pink. I don't know. So I actually I went ahead and wove in all the ends. That took me 50 minutes. Five zero, not one five, okay? I could have cried. And I didn't even like color change that much because I just ran everything through and uh Dude, I don't even know, it's upsetting. But now I'm going to connect these two. So I'm just gonna stick one on top of the other and then do a row of crochet again on the outside so that you can see it up, uh, like down this way, this way, this way, leaving this open or no, what am I doing? I'm gonna crochet across these individually, not together. And you'll see why maybe possibly in a second I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, where are we at you ask? I don't know. <laughs> This could have been a one day project and I'm just spreading it out as far as I can. So what I did, la actually I should check if this actually fits in the pillow. It looks a bit bigger than my cushion now. It looks a lot bigger than my cushion now, so I don't know. But what I did was I did what I said I was going to do. So I crocheted around the edges of all four sides or two bottom, no, two sides, one bottom, left the top open. And then I also crocheted across here and then across here just so it would look the same as the top and bottom and then for the side that is gonna be my back because technically cushions are reversible but since this looks so much better than this this is my back <laughs> so what I did was probably the opposite of what I should have done <laughs> so on this side when I did the crochet I left holes so I would have been like eight single crochet, chain one, skip one, eight single crochet, chain one, skip one kind of thing. So I have holes across here. Cause my idea is I'm going to sew buttons. I made these, these are my buttons. All this is, 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 it's in, <laughs> what? Uh, in a magic ring, I single crocheted six and then I decreased three times and then I just sewed it together. It's just like this little teeny tiny ball because I looked up like crochet buttons on Pinterest and it was either this or just like a flat one. And I feel like the flat one is less fun, less pretty and also less likely to work properly, I think, because it's not as thick, you know? It's not as sturdy. I don't know, who knows? This is what I went for though because I thought it would be cute. The only issue is I'm thinking why I think I should have done the holes on the front side and so the back is the sewing this on might look ugly <laughs> and all these are gonna be like on this side like this which I think will look cute but I guess this side is more plain so it needs something so it can have the cuteness on this side and then it's whatever I don't know I'm gonna go grab my cushion now so I can try this out because I think it's too big I actually forgot that I had a cushion with a busted zipper so I'm just gonna use the cushion from this it's like a legit I think it's a bit bigger so hopefully this will work and it's a freaking feather one. I don't know if the ones from <laughs> Ikea are feather or what they are. They're probably synthetic, I'm assuming. I would prefer synthetic because I don't know if you have cushions with feathers in it, but they can be stabbing you sometimes. Okay, let's have a look-see here. 
<laughs> this is too big. Oh, sadness. All the feathers are gonna be poking through this too. Oh, is it perfect actually? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> I made a blue! Ah. This is exciting. I'm just worried about how much it'll have to like pull on it to close it, which means the buttons probably aren't gonna work. So I feel like if you put any amount of pressure on it, it just will undo itself. I love how like I didn't measure anything. Why does it look so wonky? I didn't measure anything, but it somehow just it just worked. The crochet yarn gods were just like, yep, yep. <laughs> it's Subin's magic. All hail Subin. <laughs> Anyway, I have to actually sew on the buttons now, so... Oh, see? The friggin' feathers, they're so stabby. Also, when you wash these kinds of cushions, they smell like wet dog. Fun fact of the day. There's literally so many feathers sticking out, like it hurts to do this. So why am I doing that? I don't know. All right, here they are. It's so cute, actually. Okay, so we've got this. The holes are actually hard to find, though. So like, if it's anyone who doesn't know how to crochet, or even me, I'm having difficulties finding my holes because I didn't want to make them too big, obviously, because then I would have had to make the buttons a lot bigger. But I think it's pretty... Okay, well, if you pull it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it is on the actual thing. <laughs> I don't think it'll be too secure, to be fair. But this is a pretty fat cushion. If I were to use the other cushions, I feel like it would be better, but we'll see what it's like for this. Cause I already have it here. I don't want to bother taking the other one off of the other one and bringing the other one here. <laughs> Also, this would need blocked. I thought that it would automatically stretch to the right shape whenever it's on here, but since the actual cushion just goes in whatever shape it wants to, I don't think it actually will, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> See, the bottom still, like, I need to... I don't know. I don't know. But it does look okay with the holes, I think. I think, I think. Okay, now buttoning this up is going to be so annoying. Where's my hoe? It's not gonna work. Look at that. It's pulling on it too much. Ugh. Maybe if I get them all at once, I'm getting faster. That's something. I mean, <laughs> I think if I go to fluff it, it's just gonna pop because I went like this before and it just popped out. But it's not happening now. We'll just do it like this. Nobody's allowed to touch it. See, it looks weird. It's a weird shape. So cute! I can't believe I made a cushion. Oh, it'd be cute to make, I don't know why this popped in my head, but like a Demon Slayer one. Just because of the checks. Because then you can do like a square for Tanjiro, a square with like triangles, triangles for Zenitsu, and then I don't know what else it's for just a naked body. <laughs> Okay, I can't say I'm fully satisfied because this is just gonna pop open, but I'm happy. <laughs> it might also be cool and I can always add on more to do like more of a little thingamajigger because I think that might be cute too. If I made it like frilly or something too, that would be cute. Happy, happy, Subin themed. Hello. Da, 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 ice cream. I'm a loser. 